We are so excited that Habitat Elevation is now compatible with LifeX light bulbs. These are great bulbs, you guys, and we're going to show you how to get into the holiday spirit with the help of your Habitat Elevation. Pete the Habitat Hub Whisperer here, and today we're playing with some new LifeX light bulbs. Like I said, they just got added to the Habitat system, and I just got my hands on these, and I'm quite impressed, to be honest with you. I mean, these are 1100 lumens. That is crazy bright. They've got all the colors you can imagine, and even the color temperature, it's a range of 1500 to 9000K, which is really, really pretty impressive uh, for a bulb like this. This is their A19 bulb. They've got a whole range of bulbs. This one is uh, admittedly a little weird looking, but uh, you know, it's interesting. I kind of like it. And why would you be staring at a light bulb shape? Anyways, so LifeX bulbs are Wi-Fi devices. So you have to add them to your Wi-Fi system via their app first. The app is pretty good. It walks you through everything you need to know. Um, then you just use it, connect it with their little QR code there and you're up and running. Once it's connected via the app, you just have to add it to your hub using the new integration app. I'll show you right there and then it can be used like any other device in your Habitat system. So today we're going to show you how to make your exterior lights change colors throughout the night. I saw my neighbor, my friend down the street, Nathan, had this. Uh, he actually uses Habitat. I asked him how he did it, and he said, oh, I use a, wrote a custom app. I'm like, well, that's not happening here. So uh, I figured out how to do it using one of our built-in apps. So we are going to have to use Rule Machine, so don't worry. I'll hold your hand. We'll figure this out together. So we're going to open up Rule Machine. We're going to create a new rule. We're going to call this our holiday light rotation. If we can spell that correctly. And so yeah, so we need to select our trigger event first. We're going to use just the time of day for that. So we're going to go a certain time and this is going to be based off sunset. And we're going to offset that by a few minutes there so it doesn't come right at sunset when it's still kind of light. So 11 minutes after sunset, it's going to trigger this rule. And that's all we need for this trigger event. And we don't need any other trigger events. So now we need to select the actions that we want to run. Now, if you remember an earlier video I did, we installed a smart switch uh, for our front lights. Now we have bulbs in there. We don't really need the smart switch. But since we have it in there, my first action is going to be turn that switch on. Uh, just because they're not going to work if that switch isn't on, it should always be on, but we'll we'll go with it, turning that on first. So we'll turn, that's the exterior front, exterior switch there. No delay, done with that action. So our next action, now we're going to get into the light bulbs, okay? So what we are going to do is we're going to have a, a repeating action. It's going to turn from red to green, red to green, etc., etc. So that is a repeating action. So we're going to add repeat actions and... We're going to repeat actions right there. And what we're going to have it do is switch from red to green every minute. So the cycle of that, that full cycle from red to green, is actually a two-minute cycle. So we're going to have this repeat every two minutes. This will make sense uh, once we get into there, into the next part here. So repeating every two minutes. Now we need to select the action we want to repeat. Uh, we're setting our bulbs here. We're going to set the color of our bulbs. Now we have three light bulbs. I want the left and right bulbs on the garage to be the same color, and the middle one's going to be different. So we'll start with our left and right bulbs there, and we're going to set those to red at full power there. So done with that action. And then we need to set the middle one. Again, we're setting our bulbs here, setting color, and this is going to be our middle bulb, and this is going to be green red green right so perfect again blasting our neighbor's eyeballs out at 100 percent so we're done with that action now it's gonna so we want to set we want it to wait before it switches we're going to use a, a wait um action here we're gonna have it wait a minute so it's going to stay the same color for a minute so wait for event this is going to be an elapsed time elapsed time in hours minutes so we wait for one minute done with that wait event there and then after that minute we're going to switch these bulbs to the opposite color so again we're controlling our dimmers and bulbs we're going to set the color for the left and right keeping those the same see they were red before so we're now we're going to make them green always with the 100 percent so done with that and now we just got to select the middle one again set our bulb Setting color for our middle light bulb. 
That's going to be red. Save it at 100%. And we're done with that. So that's our full cycle right there. Now we just need to make sure that it continues to repeat this cycle until we want to. So this is going to be uh, it's going to be an until action that we do right here. So it's actually going to go into repeat here again. And we're going to add repeat until expression. A new condition. So we got to scroll down here. We're going to make that a time of a day. And then our time of day, specific time, we'll make that 12, 22, middle of the night there. And done with that. So that's going to hit done there, done with until expression. All right, so what's saying right now is it's going to repeat this cycle of going red to green every minute. And it's going to keep repeating that over and over again until 12.22. Now we need to set the action for what happens at 12.22, and that action is just going to be to turn them all off. So we'll just, these bulbs are also switches, so we're going to say turn these switches off, switches to turn needs to be toggled off make sure that's off there switch it to turn off boom 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 update done with action and that my friends is it for the rule that's all we got to do so we're done with actions there and we're done there and now our rule is saved now a nice thing here is that once you have your rule built you can actually clone a rule if you go into the settings there. And then once your rule is cloned, you can go in and edit your rule so that you can change the colors for really any holiday you want. You can have one for Valentine's Day, 4th of July, Arbor Day, your favorite team going to the Super Bowl. In fact, you can actually schedule these automations to trigger at different days of the year, but we'll save that for another video. In the meantime, hope you like this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have great ideas, we'd love to hear them down in the comments. Thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation. <laughs>